this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and I want to talk about what you need to do before you launch that new program, business, product, service under that name. When you come up with a new name for a product or service, you need to decide, you need to figure out what the risks are in using that name. And one of the big risks, the biggest risk, is that someone else already has dibs that they already have a trademark on that or are currently in the process of filing a trade for a trademark on that. They could have a trademark under state law, which is a common law trademark, and it's harder to figure that out. They could also have a trademark in the United States Patent and Trademark Office. They could also have applied for one, but not gotten it yet, but they're gonna get it. So that's the actual trickiest one. So how do you figure this out? How, what do you need to do to vet any new name. So I had someone come in a couple months ago who I realized when they were trying to figure out if a name was good, had just had their virtual assistant do a search. I don't know what the virtual assistant did. Maybe they searched on Google, which actually, please search on Google, okay? One of the big things is to just Google the name because a lot of times people haven't done that by the time they get to me and it would be obvious that someone else already has dibs on it. Hopefully you just looked up to see if that domain name is taken, but not just one that you can register. Also see if like the different versions of that domain name are taken because some that person may have applied for a trademark on that. And then of course, look at the United States Patent and Trademark Office's trademark database, which you can go to uspto.gov. But here's the thing, either you need to do the search yourself as the business owner who's name is on the line or you need to hire a lawyer to do it. This is not something you want to trust to a non-lawyer who isn't you. Because it's one thing to do something yourself and this, and maybe you don't have the money to be able to hire a lawyer to do it, which can be true. And you're, maybe you're not going to do that, hire a lawyer for every gosh darn name you use and all the different stuff that you're doing. But don't delegate that to a non-lawyer. It's too much risk. It's risk that you're, I'm actually not as worried about you getting sued because usually it doesn't get to that point. Sometimes it does, but usually it doesn't get to my point. The risk is that you're gonna go into all this time and energy and money in designing a logo, in designing the product or service, in doing the website, in marketing it, launching it, maybe even selling it, and then Someone sends you a cease and desist letter and says, oh, by the way, I have a trademark, cease and desist. And the thing is, if they got a trademark before you and it's for the exact same thing, so there's no debate and same subject area, you know, eh, you're gonna need to change all your stuff. This happens so often, so often. So here's the thing. As soon as you're still just in the brainstorming name stage, you need to do a search or hire a lawyer. And the search needs to be on looking for, it's on Google for other businesses who may be using that name. It needs to be looking at domain names and variations thereof. It needs to be, you need to be looking at the trademark database. And then a, a lawyer, I would look at a bunch of other places too, but that will cover most of what might come up. And you need to do pretty deep searches. So I'm not talking about just Googling it looking at page one. I'm talking about looking at page, you know, 10, 20, <laughs> like we're way out there. And also Googling a lot of different versions of that phrase and different spellings and different ways it sounds um, because that can count too in the world of trademark law. But this is not something to de delegate to a non-lawyer. If you're doing a search on a name, either you hire a lawyer or you do it yourself. Again, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you'd like to learn anything more about trademark law or anything else about small business law, you can go to elizabethpw.com. Thanks a lot.